back, fellow hungry travelers. Mark here with Baltus World, and today we're in Baltimore, Maryland. And today we're going to talk about are the food you need to eat when you come here to Maryland. And we got to start with the most important Maryland food out there, and that is crab. Maryland blue crab. It is fantastic when you're here. And if you can get steamed crab, um, FYI, it's in the warm months. If you're here in January and someone's trying to sell you fresh steamed Maryland crab, uh, no, that's been frozen and probably redone. But if you're here when you can't, oh my God, the crab here meat, the crab meat, it's it's sweeter. It's like, I guess it's from the water, like the fresh water coming to the brackish water in the bay and everything. I mean, it's just, they're wonderful. They're wonderful. And if you can be here in the summertime and you'll see people on their picnic tables, they'll see people outside with the, with the newspaper out and they got their little mallets and they're like, bing, bing, opening them up. Oh my God, just eating that steamed crab is so good when you're here. And even if you can't be here when it's crab season, when you can get it fresh, there's all kinds of the fantastic crab things you can have when you're here. The crab cakes. You know, when we go outside of Maryland, they call them Maryland crab cakes to so make sure you know how good they are. Here, they just call them crab cakes. It's, we're in Maryland anyway, but that is amazing when you have those. You have to have that when you're here. And the thing is, crab kind of filters into other food as well. You wanna get your kids to have some crab? Yeah, there's some crab mac and cheese. Oh, you wanna have some chicken? Oh, it has some Chesapeake chicken, and it's like chicken with some, some crab on top. I mean, it's all over and so many things. There's crab flavoring and chips and all kinds of stuff, but crab, crab, and more crab. You gotta have that, whether it's crab cakes or, or crab or in any which way, you gotta do it. And one of the ways I love having it is actually Maryland crab soup. Not a bisque, I mean, you can get crab bisque if you want here too, but like Maryland crab soup, like you get it, you're like, oh, it's red. What, what is this? Like you're, you're expecting like a vegetable soup, but it's so much more than that with the crab in there. I mean, honestly, it's one of my favorite soups in the world. If you're here, get the Maryland crab soup. You won't go wrong, okay? And the thing is, a lot of these crab dishes, if you're getting like a crab cakes or something, you'll notice that Old Bay seasoning will sneak in. Like they have a really crazy obsession with Old Bay in this state, like t-shirts, hats, like people put Old Bay on everything. Like there's Old Bay on popcorn. They put Old Bay on the rim of their beer sometimes, like on the glass. I mean, the the, <laughs> the Baltimore margarita that the guy told me next to at the bar is when you have a glass, they rim it with, uh, with, with Old Bay and then you put some Natty Bow in there and drink it up. There you go. I mean, they love Old Bay and you're gonna have it a lot of places. It's gonna be a lot of foods. Just know that they literally will spice that on all kinds of stuff. I mean, I had chicken wings with Old Bay hot sauce and it was fantastic. Seriously, Old Bay, they have a problem here. This is Old Bay hot sauce on wings, okay? They love the Old Bay, <laughs> love it. And the longer you spend in Maryland, you start to understand why they love it so much. You ask yourself, do we have that yellow container, that little, that, that metal container at our house? Because I need to get myself some more Old Bay. I mean, it, it'll get you like buying t-shirts, like that's how much it gets you, but they have it all over and it's no joke when people talk about how much they love Old Bay here. I mean, literally, I think Marylanders, when they go around the country, might bring some Old Bay with them in their pocket. Now, Old Bay is usually associated with seafood and things. And there's a lot, I mean, there's tons of great seafood you can have here in Maryland. Don't worry if you're having clams or there's fish that's great here, all kinds. If you get the water right nearby, you're gonna do great. But one thing I do recommend is you actually get oysters when you're here. And there'll be oyster houses here in Baltimore, other places, you're gonna love it. I know for me, my favorite um, oysters were the Snow Hill kind. I mean, they're a nice, big, plump, just, oh, so delicious. Went down so easy. Oh, so good when you're here. But you have a lot of options in the seafood realm. And if you want something that's not a seafood realm, probably the most popular one you'll find online and you'll see people talk about is pit beef, okay? And so pit beef, some people like to say, it's like, oh, it's Maryland's like barbecue. No, that's no, no. Think of it more like thinly shaved roast beef. It's, it's a roasted beef and then, you know, it's like crispy on the outside and then it's like rare, rare-ish on the inside. You put it in your sandwich and eat it. And, and the thing is, I think of it more like an Italian beef, like thin slice, not an Italian beef with the saw, like with the juice and stuff, but just like that thin slice kind of stuff. That's what it's more like. And you'll go to stands that have it all around the state. So you can grab it. It is very tasty. It's a little bit hard to find in like downtown Baltimore. So yeah, I got to go find places to get it. But honestly, pit beef, it's something you can grab when you're going around, especially if you're traveling more in the state, because honestly, the Here's the shocker, people. Maryland is more than Baltimore and Ocean City. There's a lot of great state parks to visit, all kinds of great stuff, but you can learn about that. We got a shocks of visiting Maryland video that I talk about those things, but you have that. And the thing is, when you're going around Maryland, you're probably gonna want some snacks, right? We gotta talk about some snacks you should grab when you're there. And, and I know I mentioned Ocean City, which people like to go to, and the most famous snack from there are the Thrasher's Fries. And basically what it is, it's just like good, good old school French fries that you get like at a, at a carnival kind of thing. And then they put, you know, salt and apple cider vinegar on there. 
and it's really good. And I'm always kind of surprised it's not Old Bay on there, but I'm sure if you ask, they probably have Old Bay they can sprinkle on top. But honestly, their fries are fantastic. Another thing you want to get around is Fisher's Popcorn. That's some good popcorn. Like they sell it all over the place. You can get it in, in different flavors. And of course, you want to get, they're, they're more popular when it's caramel. Okay, you want to get the caramel corn from then. But the one I fell in love with was the, the Fisher's Caramel Corn with Old Bay seasoning. Yes, they do have that, so you have that. If you're looking at other sweets, Burger's Cookies, oh my gosh. You could almost call this Burger's Fudge or Burger's Cookies, but you can't merge fudge and cookies in a word and still be able to say it like in the company of children. So Burger's Cookies, it's, it's like half of it is this really thick chocolate fudge and the bottom half is like a shortbread cookie. It is so good. You want to grab those if you can find them. They're well worth it. I mean, Burgers actually has on their website, you can put in your, your zip code where you are in Maryland. It'll tell you where the closest place they sell it is. So you might want to check it out because it's worth grabbing those. Though, if you're coming in the summer, don't leave them in your car. FYI. Now, another local Maryland treat you want to grab, and, and sometimes you actually find these around the country at gas stations, are the caramel creams and the cow tails. And what they are, like the, the caramel creams, it's like a circle of caramel and there's cream right in the middle. And the cow tails are like a, you can get the short ones or you can get long ones. It's just it's just basically a caramel and then the inner has inner, the innards has cream in it. And it's actually really, really good. And that's one thing I can get that. When I've done road trips around the US, I've seen them all over, but you can get those. Those are from here, so you can grab those. And they actually are fresher here because I know the cow tails I get when I buy them in Illinois are hard. When I get them here, there's still that soft caramel with the soft cream in the middle. Oh, so good. Now, if you're here in the summertime and you're getting a little hot, like I'm getting a little warm here today, you'll notice these places popping up that sell snowballs. Now, if you see a snowball, you'll think, oh, it's, it's, it's a snow cone. No, it's more in the shaved ice kind of family and they call them snowballs here. That is a really good thing to cool off. I had one yesterday when I was at a conference. I'm like, oh, I'm so hot in there and I came outside. They had a snowball truck right there. I'm like, num, 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 num. So those are really good. Now the thing is when you travel around the state, you can't always get like the home cooking kind of stuff or the, the mom's baking kind of stuff. But there's one thing here in Maryland. If you go to a cafe, if they have Smith Island cake, you want to get it. Because basically what it is, it's every kid's dream. It's like eight or nine or 10 or I don't know how many layers of yellow cake, but in between every layer is chocolate icing and chocolate icing on the outside. Oh my gosh, it is so good. The frosting you have with it, it's fantastic, but it's the layers that make you go, you need to have this on like the Great British Bake Off is one of the challenges of making, you know, Smith Island cake, right? So that's one thing you can get. It's harder to find these days, but if you can find it, it's really good. Um, and then, you know, the thing is, is when you're going around, sometimes you want to think about the, the beverages of a, of a city or a beverages of a state. And I can say here in Baltimore, uh, when it comes to adult beverages, Natty Bo, National Bohemian, it's a beer here. Um, that is like the go-to truly quintessential Baltimore beer. Uh, they have it around Maryland. You can grab that so you could have it. And, and one of the things that I feel is, for me, I felt was my most Maryland moment is when I was having a Natty Bo. Okay, and it was Natty Bow, but they poured it into a glass with that rim, right, uh, of Old Bay, of course, the you know the Baltimore Margarita, and they had an oyster in it. I'm like, my God, could I be like this? Is for me, it was like, oh my gosh, I feel so Marylandy. You know, like if I only had crab soup with it, which I did afterwards. But honestly, Natty Bow is like the thing here. I mean, it's such a thing. Like when they're if you're an Orioles game here in Baltimore, they'll have orange cans of it for the game. And if you're just sitting back with your friends, you just want to grab a snack with your Natty Po, you get the Oots Crab Chips. And basically, it's just potato chips. I mean, it's a brand that you get a lot of places. Oots is all over the place, but it's the crab chip, the crab flavor one that, that, that really brings it that Marylandedness right to it. So I hope this list of fun foods to have and things to drink when you're here in Maryland help you have a better time here. Because honestly, Maryland's a beautiful state from the coast to the mountains and everywhere in between. You can have some good eats. So I wish y'all the best. I'll say bon appetit from here in Baltimore. Baltimore.